Hey Luke, what's the difference between laziness and taking breaks? So actually, this is su- I have a super answer for this. It's it's whether your it's whether your break is recovery or not. Does your break have a purpose, right? Recovery is work. I think a lot of people completely completely don't understand that recovery is work. If you trained as hard as humanly possible and you never ate any food and you never slept, guess what? You'd be weaker than if you didn't train. You'd be hurting yourself, right? Recovery is work, right? Think about training. Training, you work out, you train, your muscles get super destroyed because you trained. That's why they hurt, right? And then what your body does is it gets a bunch of food and it takes a bunch of time and energy and it uses that time and energy and focus to build your muscles back stronger, right? That's how you get stronger, right? That's work. Your body's doing loads of work. When you're asleep, your body's doing loads of work, right? So the difference between taking breaks and being lazy is... The lazy person takes breaks, and when they say take breaks, they usually mean watch TV. They usually mean play video games. They usually mean jerk off. They don't mean recover. Like, their definition of taking a break is not recovery, right? Recovery is very, very active. Recovery is something that you can, you can optimize. You can optimize your recovery, right? Like, if your eyes hurt, take a walk. Go take a walk. That's really good recovery. Go eat some food. Eat some food. Get some energy in your system. Do things that are actually recovery. Focus on recovery. Focused and purposeful recovery. Like do things that you're specifically thinking, this thing will make me feel better. It's, it's why so many people taking breaks is scrolling social media. Bro, do you really think sc- scrolling social media is actually, actually helping you at all? Do you think that's recovery? If someone said, hi, you're about to go do the hardest workout in your life and then you get 15 minutes to recover after. Do you think that that will be a guy scrolling on social media? Do you think he'll be opening his phone? Yeah, let me open my phone and scroll. No, bro, he's not scrolling. He's recovering. Recovery. That's the difference between laziness and taking a break. A break is fine if the goal with the break is recovery, and it's actually recovery. Not, I want to, I need to give my mind a break. Let me go watch this TV show. Bro, do you not understand that that can't be, that can't be a break? How is flashing lights going into your head that you then need to interpret to understand the plot and understand what's happening. How is that a break for your brain? Genuinely, how is it a break for your brain? How? What? Because you can be a dum-dum while doing it? That doesn't make it a break. That doesn't make it any level of recovery. Sitting and watching videos is not brain recovery. It's flashing lights going into your eyeballs. How's that recovery at all? Like you'll, it's not recovery. That can't be recovery. So that's the difference between laziness and taking breaks. There's nothing wrong with resting. There's nothing wrong with rest. Trying to recover and trying to make it so that your body recovers and becomes back into its optimal state, right? Your brain has thought of all these things and done all this work. That's why humans need to sleep. Humans need to sleep to recover from all the work that their brain has done. Your brain did all this work. Now you need to sleep to recover it. The same way that your body does all this work. Now your bustle, Now you need to stop doing workouts so that your body can repair the muscles, right? Think of it as the exact same thing. The same way that when you do a bunch of training, you need a bunch of recovery. You need to eat a bunch of good food. You need to get a bunch of sleep. You need to get a bunch of rest so that your muscles can rebuild back stronger. Your brain is the exact same way. When your brain is focused all day on trying to figure out a problem, You need to recover that too. But that is not watching TV. That's not playing video games. It's not everything that you just want to do because you're addicted to doing it. That's not recovery. Recovery is actually a real thing. Recovery is a real thing. And there's better ways to recover. There's good ways to recover. Like one thing I do is walks. Walks are good for brain recovery because you're not looking at your phone. There's no flashing lights. You're just walking, getting, breathing well, moving around, getting the blood flowing, right? And you're just thinking and you're kind of just, and when I say thinking, you don't even need to really think. Just go for the walk and just recover. Like that's recovery. That's actual real recovery. Go for a, go for a nap. Sleeping's recovering too. There's nothing wrong with sleeping. You just need to really, really actually recover. If you want to take a break, there's nothing wrong with breaks that are designed to recover you. There's nothing wrong with that. That's work. Recovery is work. Sleep is work. Eating is work. These are work. These are work tasks. These are tasks that are designed to make it so that you can do more later. So uh, that's the difference. Is a lot of people are just lazy. When I say lazy, they're not try- They're not 
it's saying, I'm going to take these next 15 minutes or I'm going to take these next 30 minutes to truly try and make it so that I can get back to action. That's not what they do at all. People are saying, you know what? I've worked really hard. Let me go watch some TV. They're not thinking about the TV has nothing to do with recovery. It's nothing to do it. They'll lie to themselves. I've, I've seen loads of people lie. Oh yeah, but you know, what if I just need to wind down? So I'll just watch this TV show. How's that winding down? If you want to wind down, go for a nice walk, go for a nice stroll, eat some food, or go to bed. Go to sleep, take a nice little nap. Take a nice little nap. Do something like, I don't know, at least do something a bit more. Like, if you're going to not recover anyway, then at least do something like go out with your family. At least make your family happy if you're not going to recover. Like, if you, if you decide that you want to do something else and it's not recovery, so it's not sleep or it's not like eating, then go out with your family at least. At least make your family happy. Oh, but I don't want to do that. That's work. Then rest. So that, that's my difference between laziness and taking a break. Is I, I think a lot of people don't understand that recovery is work. And you can very be very, very purposeful in how you recover. You can be very, very purposeful in thinking like, okay, I'm going to take the next 30 minutes to recover. Like I'm going to, I'm going to, I, I can't think anymore. I can't think straight. I've already done all my workouts. I've already ate my food. I don't really feel like going to sleep. I'm just going to sit here and just relax, rest. That has nothing to do with scrolling social media. That has nothing to do with playing a video game. That has nothing to do with mindless entertainment garbage. It has nothing to do with putting things into your brain. You don't need stimulus into your brain, right? Listening to music, that's stimulus going into your brain. I don't consider that recovery at all. That's putting new information in your brain. How is putting new information in your brain giving your brain a rest? How, how is that giving your brain a break? How's that even a break? Everyone's always like, oh yeah, let me take a break. Then they start blaring some music in their ears or they start blaring something into their brain. It's like, bro, you're just bombarding your brain with some garbage. How is that a rest? How is that a break? So um, anyway, that's my definition. The difference between laziness and taking a break. Taking a break should have a purpose. And the purpose should be to make it so that you recover and get back to your normal self so they can go back to work and be full of energy all the time. So um, hopefully that helps.